If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another video and another five minute review. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Iose Perez. Now, this is a second in form. First in form was a right wing. The base card is a centre forward, and now this is a cam. So three different positions, although one of them is kind of the same. Um, central version now, a much more, in my opinion at least, a much more usable card with some really good stats. In particular, the passing. I am a massive fan of this guy's passing, considering he's an 84 rated card. For him to have 89 short passing and 88 vision is very, very good, very useful. Big fan. Uh, some of the other useful stats to mention, of course, uh, the positioning, 90. That's crazy good. Very good finishing as well at 87. He's got unbelievably good stamina. His dribbling is very good. His reactions are fantastic. And he's got um, some very nice agility in there as well. All in all, to be fair, considering this card is currently coming in at around the 25k mark, and it'll probably drop down even further as well uh, when, obviously, Team of the Year drops and people start ripping through the packs... Uh, I would imagine this card will come down to below 20k unless EA try and keep the price of informs high by releasing certain SBCs, but that's for another day. I, I did actually really enjoy myself with this card, but what I will say is that you, you need to improve the composure. You can't go into a game with this card and expect to be competing uh, against weekend league teams or even rivals at a relatively higher division unless you improve the composure. Four star, four star, high, high work rates. The high defensive work rate is always a pain in the backside. You can kind of use him as like a Roberto Firmino type character, if you will, you know, coming back into the midfield, helping out a fair bit. But generally, uh, I used him as a cam as he comes out of packs. I would be tempted to put him up as a striker, actually, for the cam style I'm going to give him or gave him, which is a sniper. Um... The, the chem style I chose, obviously, boosted the chem, uh, the composure, which is what, what we wanted. We only boosted by 5 anyway, so it's up to 82. But it does help the dribbling, the reactions, the agility. He makes him feel a lot quicker because we're not actually going to touch that pace. The acceleration and the sprint speed, 84 and 83. They're good, but they could be better. But improving the agility and improving the reactions, he does feel a lot faster than what he did previously, obviously. Um... We're boosting that finishing up to 99. The positioning goes up to 95. We've got good volleys, good penalties. The one thing that I really liked about the card is I didn't need to improve the passing because 89 short passing with 88 vision was... I mean, that's, that's a fantastic stat. You just don't need any more than that on a, cam, on a cam, in my opinion. You can have it, and you can improve that if you want. I don't know what cam style you'd want to give him instead. Maybe something like a, an artist. Takes him up to a 91-rated cam as opposed to the sniper that just puts him into a 90-rated center forward. The artist... You don't get that composure boost, which is the big downside of it to me, for me. But you do get 94 short passing, 99 vision. Because, in my opinion, if you're going to use him as a cam, the finishing is good enough. You don't actually need to improve the finishing. But the only other cam style you can get that composure boost with is a Guardian. You don't need to boost the defensive stats. You need to give him a sniper. Your hands are quite literally tied. If you play him as a striker and you have low composure, he's going to feel the pressure from the striker. And unfortunately... You're not going to uh, you're not going to score as many goals if you use him as a cam again. He's going to feel the pressure from players around him, and unfortunately, he's not going to be able to pass off as as well as he would do if he had a composure boost. So at least with the 82, and I can't say that I noticed like a massive difference, but it was enough to say to me, right, I need to stick with this sniper. So. In my opinion, even though I used him as a cam, I think he'd actually be a better striker. Because he's 5'10 and he's got a lot of agility, 97 agility with the cam style, he feels very quick, very nippy, very snappy as well with those 92 reactions. Great dribbling on him as well. So even though I used him as a cam, I would definitely recommend popping him in there as a striker. If you don't like him, and you can always switch him back down to a cam and see how you get on with it. But in all honesty, using him as a striker, it was, um, it was pretty good. Now, in terms of his weaknesses, uh, I... Shot power. Honestly, that's the only thing I can really pick up on. I mean, his composure, yeah, it'd be nice if it was higher, but we can't do much about that. Shot power, unfortunately, we can't hit that and composure at the same time. It's just not feasible. So, it's a trade-off. If you use him as a striker, maybe take the sniper away, give him something that's going to boost the shot power and forget about the composure. But in all honesty, I think I'd rather have the composure boost than the shot power. Sometimes you'll take shots and they just won't have any venom behind them. The keeper makes a save and it's like, ugh. That's annoying, but all in all, 
considering this is a very cheap and cheerful 84 rated card, he is teetering on the edge of class 2. He really is because he's got some really nice stats uh, dotted in and around the place. So I, I'm going to put him a high class 3. And if you don't know the class system, class 1 is your Mbappes, your Neymars, your Ronaldos, your Messis. Class 2 is like those really high-end cards that aren't quite the top end, but they are very, very good. Class 3 is very usable, but maybe not quite ready for a weekend league team because generally most people's weekend league teams are going to be stacked. And then Class 4 is your, your absolute rotters. So he's a very high uh, Class 3, in my opinion. Now, if you have enjoyed today's video and you want to see more of this type of thing, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.